Are you one of those people who when you get into a new hobby or something like filmmaking, you just wanna buy everything connected to it? You wanna get all of the kit, all of the gear, all of the equipment, and oh my goodness, there is a lot of stuff you can buy. But stop, you don't need to spend a lot of money. Shut your wallet, close your purse. I'm here to tell you that there are just a few essentials you need to get started. I've already made a video about that. I'll link it below so you can check it out. But today's video is about a few little extras I've had my eye on to up my filmmaking game. So I thought I'd share with you a few of the things that are gonna make it into my kit bag this year and why they've earned a place. <music> So first on my wish list for the year was this, a waterproof phone case. Now, full disclosure, I actually bought this a couple of years ago for my husband, he likes sailing, but he hasn't really used it that much, so I think I'm gonna steal it back. It was super cheap, it was about six or seven pounds, but I just think it would be amazing to get shots where usually you might be worried about getting your phone wet or water damaged. You can put it in this, you don't have to give it a second thought. So you could take incredible pictures at the beach, in the sea, in the pool when you're on holiday, in fountains, all sorts of places. I think it would be absolutely incredible. I can't wait to start playing around with this. I think the only thing you need to be careful of is just to make sure that this plastic stays clean so that you get good clear shots through it. But I can't wait to see the kinds of videos that I can create using this this year. The second thing that's earning a place in my kit bag this year is this gorgeous little mobile mount from Manfrotto. Now, it is probably more expensive than your average ones, but I use a mobile mount all the time, and this is an incredibly solid build, and it also has some pretty cool features. So, aside from the fact that it packs down very flat, which is very nice, my last one was very bulky and awkward to chuck in a bag, um, it's a, got a really cool little way of articulating, and then you just clamp your phone in, tighten it up at the back, and off you go. So the really cool thing about this one, and the, what, the reason I got it particularly was because at the top it has this cold shoe mount, which means if you take that out, you can put a microphone on the top there and mount it really securely, which is great. Or you might wanna put a light on or something else, but it just means that whatever is clamped on there is gonna hold on really securely. So previously when I was filming myself with my phone, I had this um, microphone kind of clamped on the side with a hair clip or a random clamp. Um, this is a much better, more secure way of pointing it in the right direction and making sure that it's gonna stay safe. So I'm very excited about using this bit of kit this year and I think it's gonna be fantastic. The third thing is this. You might be thinking, oh my God, Lottie, what the hell is this? This is a friction arm, and it's basically a piece of hardware that twists and turns in all sorts of directions. It's got a clamp on one end, so you can attach it to loads of places that you might not be able to put a tripod, and it's got a little screw to mount a tripod mount on at the other end. So combined with the little mount that I just showed you, I reckon I'm gonna be able to get some amazing pictures with this. I think fantastic for top-down shots. I can mount it to shelving or doors or banister rails, all sorts of things. It's made of metal, it's so strong, incredibly tough and durable. You're gonna be able to chuck it around wherever you like and just use it to get some really interesting angles that you might not otherwise have been able to get. So I'm really excited about using this this year. Right, that is it, I am not spending any more money. I would love to know in the comments below what you guys use for your mobile filmmaking. If there's anything that you love, that you can't live without, that you want to invest in this year, let me know in the comments, I'll check them out. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe for videos every Tuesday about how to make better films using your phone. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.